to another video. And we are here at Nha Trang Beach in Vietnam. Yes. And we are just spending a gorgeous day in this beautiful weather right here on the shoreline. Sitting with our own lounge chairs here. We're getting food service and drink service and we're just living it up today. Love it. So nice out. We got really lucky with the weather because down back in Saigon, it's like on and off rain. It definitely rains every day. Yeah. But here, there's like not a cloud in the sky and it's been beautifully sunny this whole time. So I think we got really lucky. We definitely got lucky, that's for sure. But yeah, this is the main thing to do when you come to Nha Trang. It's a huge beach resort town. So this is like its claim to fame is this seven kilometer huge long stretch of beach. So we'll show you around today. And I'm gonna go drink my beer right now. So look at the size of this bad boy. <laughs> So this place is called the Louisiane Brew House, and they brew their own beer here in Vietnam. And this is a passion fruit beer. Official taste test. Oh, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Does it taste like passion fruit? Yeah, try nice. it. It's really good. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. It's like just fruity enough without being sweet and really crisp. Almost like a really light wheat beer, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Mmm, we're gonna have fun here. <laughs> so this is called the Louisiane Brew House and it's right on the beach in Nha Trang. It was the first, I believe, microbrewery in this area of Vietnam and they actually brew all of their beers right on site here, which is really cool. And then it's kind of almost doubles as like a private beach club. So they have all of these chairs right on the beach that you can rent for 40 to 45,000 dong, which is like $1.50 to $2 US for the entire day. They have a full food menu, full bar, showers, bathrooms, towel rentals, and a pool for all their guests. So you could just spend the whole day here and chill. We're probably gonna do that. So a really nice gentleman, an extremely talented painter named Hung just approached us on the beach and he just kept telling us, how nice it is to see Americans and be able to talk in English with us. He speaks really excellent English and honestly his paintings are gorgeous so I think we're gonna buy one and take one with us but here is Hong. <laughs> so talented. So these are all silk. He yeah, hand I'm paints silk. them. Yeah. So we chose the I one. Don't, I don't want to I want to keep this one but you <laughs> It's a masterpiece. Thank you so much. Where can people find you if they want to buy one? So he's right here on the beach and he walks around and sells these paintings. Um, you can you can find him walking around here, right? You're yeah, usually no, all no, along no. this beach. And then he has a he has a, an online store. He has a website, so he's gonna give us the card. I'm gonna put the link in the description. You guys gotta check this out. He has really nice and stuff. And I have a, a, a newspaper. Perfect. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it was great yeah. talking with you. <laughs> and I talk in, uh, to you and I hope you have a good trip, have a good time. And maybe next year you have a uh, good condition you come back. Yes. I, mean, I hope you like yes. it. <laughs> we'll, get you, we'll get another one next year. Thank you so much. So they got this cool setup here. They got these flags. And when you need service, you put the red flag up. And when you're good, you keep the green one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, so we just took a nice swim in the so water. Good. The ocean is so clear, it's, we're very surprised. But there's a tide coming in and the wind is super strong. So now we just hopped out and we ordered a bunch of food. Stacia got a salad. And, and a coconut. A coconut juice, yum yum. And I got a bacon cheeseburger, of course. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna relax here for a couple more hours. And then maybe later on, we're gonna show you around the town a little bit, yeah. more towards the evening. But really, all you're here for anyway, if you come to Nha Trang, or Nha Trang, I'm not sure the pronunciation, but the only reason you're here pretty much is to like relax and enjoy the beach. So that will be kind of reflected in our chill, very yeah. little B-roll vlog. <laughs> yeah, this is just a very relaxing vlog. We're not really doing much. We're just kind of sitting here lounging and swimming and eating. Nice. So, uh, so yeah, don't expect much out of this video. Here's Stacia, she put vodka in this little water bottle and now she's pouring it into her drink. So I bought this mini bottle at a vodka at the store because it's a huge Russian tourist destination so they just have like so much vodka everywhere. And I only have like a tiny bit, like maybe once every two nights. So I had like a lot of the bottle left over and I didn't want to waste it so I packed it up and <laughs> I'm drinking it here. <laughs>
we made it back to our hotel just to kind of re relax and lounge in the pool. Yeah, it's nice. There's this gorgeous infinity pool. It's called the Nagar Hotel. Uh, it's brand new. It's only like a few months old. $50 a night and we have this huge super bed in our room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't seen the super bed, go follow us on Instagram and check out the Vietnam highlight stories. <laughs> <laughs> we have like one of the biggest beds we've ever laid in. Ever. So we planned our trip to Nha Trang super last minute. We booked our flight like I think the day before we were flying out of Saigon. Uh, and even super last minute, we got the flight really cheap. It was under $50 a person with Vietjet, which I know is a budget airline, but just a quick one hour flight. I always want to take budget for that short of a flight. There also is a train or bus option, I believe, but it takes around seven or eight hours to get here from Saigon. So with only two or three days, why not fly, yeah. not waste your time. For 40, 50 bucks, like you can't go wrong. And it took like, I think an hour tops mm -hmm. to get here. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. It's a great little area. It's a nice little resort town, mm -hmm. relaxing. You know, a lot of things to see and do, like our excursion that we went on yesterday. That, if you haven't watched that video yet, go watch it. That was such a fun day. I got my tiger. You know, you guys know my new favorite beer. And, uh, and we're gonna relax here for a couple hours, enjoy some cocktails, lounge in the pool. And, uh, and then we're gonna go downstairs and we are gonna walk around the city and show you guys a little bit of like the nightlife here. Not like anything crazy, because. We're, we're leaving in just a few hours. Yeah, we're flying out. But just see what the streets are like. There's tons of food options, bar options, shopping options, and all that stuff. So we want to show you a little bit of a taste of what it would be like if you wanted to come on vacation here. So now we're going to go float in this pool. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. shots but I honestly just don't feel like filming right now yeah we're not in the mood to film so this is a very rough video compared to our other cinematic videos so if you're new to the channel definitely go watch some other videos because they're a lot better but we still wanted to put this out anyway um, the city of Nha Trang is a pretty big party city actually so they got an international airport in 2014 and one of the most popular direct flights is from Moscow to here. So it's a huge Russian tourist beach holiday. Yeah, there's Russians everywhere. There's like blonde girls walking all over the place. It's yep. crazy. Um, he likes that. No, I like brunettes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you'll see all the menus in Vietnamese, English, and Russian. Um, and there's also a huge party scene due to that tourism. So there's rooftop bars where you can like drink your face off all night. There's like people on the street selling drugs, like biking up to you and they're like, do you guys want some drugs? It's so weird. <laughs> Obviously we said no, cause that's sketchy as hell, but if you want it, it's here for you. <laughs> There's tons of different food options here. I've actually been very lucky with yeah. my food choices. You've liked your food here. Yeah, yeah. And there's lots of like international dishes and, and international restaurants. So basically anything you can think of, mm -hmm. they have it here. Yeah, and the street food's still here too. So you can get tons of Vietnamese street food. They have rolled ice cream carts on the street, which is really fun. Yeah, fruit stands, mm -hmm. smoothies, pretty much everything. We found one place called Core, oh. and they had fruit smoothies and uh, what else? Uh, like organic, freshly made salads and wraps. It was yeah, so good. So freaking good. So we pretty much ate there like almost two times a day yeah. since we've been here. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of stuff here for you to choose from. Do you want to tell them why you don't have a shirt on? Huh? Oh yeah, by the <laughs> way, I'm half naked because before we left the hotel, we went swimming in the pool, as you saw, and then afterwards we decided to go in the sauna. Yeah. And I came out soaking wet, <laughs> took a shower to cool off, and I'm still dripping. Like, I wipe myself off and I'm 
two seconds later, I'm filled with sweat again. I don't know what the hell's going on. So now we're just kind of walking around and we're about to pick up our grab in, I don't know, like 20 minutes. Yeah. So we gotta get back to the hotel and meet our grab driver and then head back to the airport and uh, fly back to Saigon. Over a late night flight. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.